so um i uh, uh hmm skip to my lou my darling hi guys it's lou okay kids mother's day is very close less than a week away what have you gotten your mother just in case any of you are struggling with what to get your mom for mother's day I thought I'd do a little video because after all, I am a mother. I know what I want. I had a mother. I gave her stuff she didn't like. So let's make sure to give a gift this year that we've put some thought into, or maybe just I put some thought into, and then everybody's happy. Yeah. I'm gonna show you guys lots of pictures so you have examples of some fun stuff that you could possibly give your mom. All kinds of different moms want all kinds of different stuff and I think that we've got it covered here today let us start with should we start with what not to get your mom I'll get to that later I'm gonna start with what I really like and that is I'm a big plant person I have about 22 plants in my house when I was young and um, my mom was also a plant person <sighs> yeah we were terrible kids um i would just i knew that she liked plants and i went to like home depot or something and got her a potted plant and brought it to whatever party was happening for mother's day and just put it on the table it, i mean it was wet it had dirt on the bottom and you know it was just in the plastic pot here mom here you go. A great idea for Mother's Day is to perhaps buy a succulent or any type of plant you think she might want and get a beautiful pot for it. So I have got some examples here. Here's more of a rustic pot with a pretty pink flower in it. Here is a trio of not succulents, something else. Here we do have a couple of succulents and an orchid in some gold pots, which I have to say, hint, hint, I like those. Ava and next we have some colorful pots and I see in there they have a rubber tree plant that's the biggest one you see in there and some sort of vine item look how nice that looks and then a blue and pink pot with some very sad stick coming out of it but still beautiful succulent in a very simple spotted pot now looking at that I see that you can probably get that pot at Ikea and you do not have to repot the plant. You can simply take the plastic container that it's already in and just pop it in a pretty pot that's slightly bigger than the plastic one and you're good to go. Now right here is the epitome to me of a perfect gift for Mother's Day. All kinds of succulents in this turquoise and gold pot and of course plants live on unless you have a brown thumb and kill them you gotta water them of course flowers are very nice too mother's day is one of the most popular days for florists and i have nothing against that but i think a great idea is to get those flowers and put them in a vase it's much easier and less expensive than having them delivered and it shows that you put a little bit of thought into it and just a few examples are more vases that look like they came from or they could have come from ikea i know that they didn't but these very simple vases look somebody went next door and just picked some shrubbery and stuck them in these vases and it looks beautiful now here are some flowers in some beautiful vases very simple a vase just makes these flowers say so much more and finally uh basically i don't even think this plant flower thing is alive but they stuck it in a handmade ceramic vase and it looks incredible so enough about uh giving your mom living things let's go to some dead stuff jewelry sure jewelry is great my opinion on jewelry for mother's day is nothing extravagant nothing super expensive something like a pair of earrings for date night some sort of bobble would be great i have examples of a bazillion earrings right here so i'm just going to start talking and showing them i would say that more expensive extravagant jewelry is for a different kind of special occasion something that 
you know, a husband would give to a wife on an anniversary or birthday, Mother's Day, I think a really fun pair of very unique earrings that she can wear anywhere would be a great choice. Anyway, if you do find some earrings and they are in a card that is a plastic uh, crappy looking card, take them off and put them in a nice box or actually pierce that piece of you know, cotton that's inside of the box with the earrings. It makes a much nicer presentation than just, you know, I got these at Target, here's your earrings. And I know I've talked a lot about earrings, but bracelets and necklaces are good too, but I don't know, there's something about a nice pair of earrings. Next, candles. Yeah, candles. Candles are great, but you have to remember you have just a wide range of candles. Anything from a crappy little tea light to a beeswax, beautiful, amazing, super expensive candle. One thing to remember when gifting a candle is just make sure the presentation is beautiful. Make sure the candle is either in a beautiful jar, something with a unique shape, something very colorful, something with perhaps her favorite scent when it comes to candles. Tons of options. Hand cream. Hand cream's always a nice one. I myself put hand cream on all the time, but I just buy myself some, you know, tube at the grocery store or Target and just carry it in my purse. Well, if you're gonna gift some hand cream, make it a nice set that comes in a nice container. Tubes that are metal, those for some reason are much fancier in my opinion and make a great gift. Just like with candles, you can get her favorite scent. Oh my gosh, and now I'm looking at uh, Pikachu hand cream. You know, whatever floats her boat. Okay, along the lines of those earrings, I should have put this at the beginning of the video because it is sort of one of my favorite gift ideas and that is a trinket dish. A simple little thing that mom can put her, say, new earrings in. They come in various shapes and sizes. They come mostly in porcelain or glass, but you'll also find different materials like leather. So just a little dish that she can keep either by her bedside or on the dresser. So at night when she takes off the earrings that you gave her, she can put it on that little trinket dish. Here's kind of a I don't know, not a slippery slope, but you gotta be careful when giving home stuff for Mother's Day. I love home stuff, but something that I wouldn't love is something that implies that I have work to do with it. I don't want a mop. I don't want a frying pan. I think a really pretty apron is okay for those who love cooking. Pot holders are kind of Mm, that's iffy for me. But if you have a true chef and you feel like that's something that would really be appreciated, go for it. Just make sure it's pretty. So many of you may have a coffee or tea lover to give a gift to on Mother's Day. And you know, we can get tea or coffee any day of the week, anywhere we want, anytime we want. But what we can't get is you know, say a really pretty mug or a beautiful teapot that is especially from you. And sometimes tucked in there would be a very special blend of tea or several coffee flavors. You can even go as far as to get a sugar bowl and a little creamer set along with it. But when you add something a little personalized to the mix, it's always a nice gift that seems like some thought was put into it. Okay, books. My mom was a huge book person and um, the only problem with that was picking out the right kinds of books. So I think if you know that your mom has a special interest, I think the book relating to that, like a coffee table book, would be a great idea. If she's into the beach, get her a beautiful beach book with lots of pictures. If she's into shoes or animals, get books related to that. And of course, there's nothing wrong with a cookbook if you have a chef in the house. There are plenty of cookbooks out there, but just make it relatable and something that she wants to cook. All right, next, bath stuff. Hmm, all right, if you have a bath taker for a mom, there is such a variety of stuff that can make baths more pleasurable, and that is bath salt, bath bombs, bubble bath, beautiful soaps, 
scented oils, and so on. And the bonus there is usually bath stuff is packaged beautifully. There are even kits of many of those things wrapped up in one. So bath stuff. Oh my God, am I done? Do I have any more to tell you about? Hair. Okay, this is the last one and uh, I don't know, I like it. So this gift idea actually reminds me of Gift of the Magi. Clips, even rubber bands, barrettes, they're all available in the very fancy version. Bobby pins with a little jewel at the end. What are those squeezy clips called? These, this thing. Here's some beautiful ones right here. Anyway, I think that's my last idea. And I'm hotter than hell. There we go. So basically the idea here is to put some thought into your Mother's Day gift. As I've gone over, you can purchase some pretty basic items, but if they're unique and if they're perhaps personalized, it can feel pretty special to the receiver. I do wanna add this, even though it's probably very few people who feel the same way I do, but I have to say it. Gift cards, gift cards. I feel like gift cards are somewhat of a cop out. Almost like saying I couldn't think of anything to get you so you get yourself something with this here at this place. And again, not everyone feels that way. A lot of people love gift cards or coupons or certificates. I do not. I would rather my child, you know, put thought into it as simple as buying my favorite candy, something related to a hobby that I have. I don't care, write me a poem. Just something that I know took a little bit of time and thought. So um, I feel like I lectured you guys, I didn't mean to. I just wanted to give you a couple of ideas for last minute Mother's Day gifts. So comment down below and let me know what you guys think of the gifts that I just mentioned and what you think of gift certificates. I'm totally okay with being wrong. And if you have any great gift ideas yourself, put them down below. Who knows, you might really be helping someone in a bind. But for now, that's it for this video on last minute Mother's Day gifts. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you aren't already subscribed but would like to be, please hit that button down below and you'll see me very soon with more videos. Bye now.